Hey guys, and welcome to Gwent, the Witcher card game. My name is Jagaris, and today I have a rather silly Skellige deck for you guys, and that is the Seriously Dashing Siri Dash deck. And the idea behind this deck is that we just want to discard Siri a million times and make her really strong and see how strong we can get her. You know, it's not a particularly competitively viable deck, um, but it's a lot of fun to play. And I think, you know, it's also good to have fun decks. So the gist of this deck is that we have King Bran as our leader. So we can use him to guarantee a Siri discard. Uh, and on top of that, we can actually discard two other cards from our deck. And the kind of cards we're going to be wanting to discard are the Clan and Crate Raiders and the Clan Twir Sec Skirmishers. We also have a uh, Clan Demon Pirate. So if we play one of these, this will thin these from our deck because we want to be able to cycle Siri as many times as we can. Uh, we have Clan Drum and Warmongers, which allow us to discard bronze cards from our deck. So we can use these to thin, again, the Skirmishers, which we'll always resurrect later. Uh, and the raiders. So once these are all kind of in the graveyard, there's actually not a lot of cards left in the deck. Uh, we have our Priestess of Freyas, which we're going to use to resurrect skirmishes so that we have points. And we have a Heimei Battle Maiden, which we can use to find an extra Warmonger, because these are soldiers, or a thinnest skirmisher. So this is just for, again, more thinning. And then it comes to our silver cards. And actually, our silver cards, we have Johnny. Uh, which we can use to discard a card from your hand, such as Siri Dash, because Siri, when she enters the graveyard, she strengthens and she goes back into your deck. So we're basically strengthening her. And if we discard her, we then take a random gold card from our opponent, because you get a random card of the same color. Uh, and you want to do this early before your opponent has had a chance to draw their gold cards. So we'll do this and we'll draw a gold card. Then we have Svanriga, draw the top card from your deck, then discard a card from your hand. So again, we could draw Siri and discard her, or we could... Uh, draw, you know, raiders or skirmishes and discard them. We have Sig, which we can use to replay Johnny or to resurrect a skirmisher, for example. We have Decoy, which we can use to replay Johnny or Svanriga or Sig Driffa, or even just a Priestess of Freya. We have Udoric, look at the top two cards from your deck, draw one and discard the other. So we can use him to, you know, hopefully find useful cards and discard these things in Siri. Uh, we have Royal Decree. Now, Royal Decree, you can use to draw Ermion. Draw the top two cards from your deck, then discard two cards from your hand. Again, using this to find the cards that we need. Or you can actually use Royal Decree to find and play Siri. So if you happen to get to the stage of the game where you've discarded her a lot of times, you can then play her with Royal Decree. And then Renew, we're going to be using to, again, replay Ermion. You could swap out Renew for Avalak, um, and that would again help you thin through your deck. But I think this is enough discarding, and generally you can get through all your cards anyway. Um, so I kind of like Renew in this, in this deck, but it is a card that you could tweak. Ultimately, this deck is, you know, just meant to be fun. Uh, it's not meant to be too competitively serious. I just play it in casuals because, you know, it's sometimes sometimes you just fancy playing something a bit stupid. And that's kind of what we have here. Um, so if you like this deck, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And without further ado, I will jump into a game and I'll showcase this deck in action for you. <laughs> of course, friend. Sit at my table and let's drink. Okay, so we're up against another Bran, and this guy is likely to be playing a little bit more of a serious deck than me. You want a mulligan, so you only have one Dimmon, and you want to get rid of Clan and Crate Raiders. Uh, skirmishes, you don't really need to hold on to either, because we can just thin those out of the deck. We have Johnny, but no Siri. We have Ermion, which is okay. It's not bad. Um, we mulligan a Priestess. We risk pulling a Dimmon. So the problem we have here is that we risk pulling a Dimmon if I, if I take another mulligan. So we've got to decide whether we want to take that risk. And actually, it paid off. Okay. So in terms of the opener, we obviously want to discard with King Brown at some point, but we don't actually have to do that to open. What we can do for now is just you want pass, thin you uh, with Can't the Dimmons. And then we can actually also discard Silvers that we might want to use with Sigdrifa. So we also have that option. Although actually, we have all of them in our hands. Swabbies. Oh man, what, what is, is this? This is this is like the Siri mirror. We're getting It's getting serious in here. So we can play this uh, and discard a raider. And this gives us tempo, because, you know, that is an 11-point play, which isn't too bad. And if you do it with a Heimei, then that makes it a 12-point play. And we can actually always discard... We can always discard uh, skirmishes with King Brown, should we need to. The issue we have is um, often this deck discards their gold cards, as seen here. And if he's discarding his gold cards, we need to be a little bit wary in that regard. Because we also do want to, like I say, the mother play goddess. Johnny. She give us and take the wee. So let's just continue here to thin out the bronze cards from the deck. Because the more bronze cards we get out of the deck now, honestly, the better. I'm in no mood to talk. Oh, he's thinning as well. What's the timer on this? Two. So if we pass now, he has to play an extra card. And if he has to play an extra card, then 
uh, we get card advantage. The issue is, you know, we maybe don't want card advantage in this situation. But that's a thing to be kind of aware of. I think for now we just keep continue to thin the deck. The problem is when we play King Brown, that's going to be a two-point play. So we have to be a little bit aware of that. Because he is about to get 12 points, right? He's going to get 12 points from the Wolf Spain. Um, so he's actually not behind us at all. In which You're case, good. maybe we play Udalric here. Real good. Yeah, because he's going to get points. He's going to get points anyway. So essentially, this is the the point where we Udalric, and hopefully Please we pull Siri, Priestess or Priestess. That is an awkward choice because obviously we do want to play those. Um, discarding one isn't really the end of the world. He will probably pass here. I would expect. Okay, apparently not passing. So this is where we pass. Because then on the next round, like I said, we can thin the skirmishes and we can start to, you know, uh, trade out the Siri. We've we've really heavily thinned our deck. Um, so we're likely to draw well uh, in this situation. And then hopefully he doesn't draw his gold cards and we get a decent Johnny. Ideally, we draw Siri here. Roll Decree. We can use that to play Siri. And the skirmisher. We're going to mulligan the skirmisher. And see what we pull. Siri! Thank God for that. Okay. So we're going to open with Johnny here and discard Siri. And that'll put her into the graveyard and then she'll start gaining points. It's time. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we might have a bit of a problem here. Because we have three cards left in our deck. Admittedly, we can just keep discarding Siri. Good so great. it's not a huge problem. Children. This might actually be okay. But it, it may, in fact, be terrible. Holy shit, it's a Canby deck. Guys, it's a Canby deck. <laughs> he doesn't have his Canby, though. Because if you if you play Johnny, you know that they don't have it. Oh, this is exciting. So I can decoy Johnny and discard Camby, but I'll probably just pull another Camby. And we need to play Ermion. Actually, we might be okay with just like not discarding cards with with Bran. You know, it's a choice. So we, we could just play Bran and not discard things. We have to play Ermion. Um, but if we play Ermion, then Renew is kind of dead. Oh man, you guys, it's a Camby deck. So I guess we play Ermion now and start to cycle our cards. Because then we can guarantee what we draw, more or less, with this God's deck. Skirmisher. Come on, give me Siri. There we go. So there's Siri. So now we discard a Skirmisher and Siri. Or we could discard Camby and Siri. I feel like I want to hold on to Camby. I don't have a way of killing Camby, but I feel like I want to hold on to her. Like, we do zero damage to our opponent in this deck. Um, because we can always discard Siri with Svanriga. If we can make it so Siri is the only card in the deck, we can basically guarantee her discard with Svanriga. Um, and then target draw her with Royal Decree. Actually, she's in hand now, so I can still discard her again with Svanriga. I'm just thinking what the best way to do this is. I think we, I think we discard the Skirmisher, right? Because we can always discard both of those. Um... If we play Svanriga, we'll draw a Skirmisher, right? Right, let me think about this. We have to figure out the best way to cycle this. So we play Svanriga, we draw the Skirmisher, and we discard Siri. Because we can then decoy the Svanriga, and if we decoy the Svanriga, we can then draw again. So then we discard this Skirmisher and Siri with King Bran, right? And that means that Siri is the only card in our no graveyard, insult. which is actually quite good, right? You gotta pay. And the thing is, he wants space. us to make big tempo plays, and we ain't making any tempo plays. The only thing is, Renew is kind of dead. Renew is kind of dead. Because we can renew Ermion and draw nothing, but then he makes us discard. Right, let's play King Bran, round three. This is the first time you'll see a round three King Bran. We discard both of these. And then Siri goes back into the graveyard. And then we decoy Svanriga. And Siri goes back into the graveyard. This is very exciting. I wonder if he's actually got... Because I wonder if he drew Camby. The fact that he's resin cards no makes insult. me think... I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, so how many points is Siri on at this stage? 23! Holy shit! This is amazing! And we discard Siri. She goes back into the graveyard. And then we can, we can target draw her with Royal Decree. But if we renew Ermion, we do have to then discard cards. Unless we hold the renew until like right at the end. In which case we just draw Ermion.
I don't really want to play Camby. This is the issue that I have. Like, he's still trying to find. He's not still trying to shabby. find Camby. Oh, for God's sake! We had such a strategy. We had such a strategy, and because he never got his Camby, he just gave up. Oh man, I actually think we could have won that one. Well, I mean, we did, but I think we could have won it like with this huge Siri dash that I didn't even get to play. Oh, feels bad. Right, let's jump into another game. Patience is not a virtue I am known to have. Sit at my table and let's drink. Okay, so the issue with Amir is you can end up with a Kahir in your hand with the Johnny. And if you do that, that's not really good. In terms of the mulligan, we're getting rid of uh, Raiders. Don't want these. And we'll get rid of a Skirmisher because I can always draw one with the Battle Maiden. Siri. We got Siri, but we didn't get Johnny. That's really awkward because... We don't really want to play her, we want to discard her. Although if we drew Spun Rigger, we could always discard her with that. Um, for now, what we're going to look to do is thin our deck. So let's just start discarding some Raiders with the Drummond Warmongers. Uh, and then we can look to play our Skirmisher. This deck doesn't really interact with your opponent, so you have to be a little bit careful in that regard. I'm guessing this is going to be Silak, yeah. So he'll pick it up uh, after playing an emissary. A shame I have no time. All in all, this is okay. Please wait, Your Excellency. Like a I'm long first round behind. is good for us because we just want to have a short final round. So long as we can win two rounds, it's, it's all good. And here we are, like I say, just spinning. We don't have any demons. Black. We can find Ermion with Royal Decree, but we'd rather thin our deck a little bit before we do that. So that is currently what we're doing here. Um, and then we'll probably Guys, play the Ermion with the Roll Decree. You can also use Roll Decree to find Siri later on, no uh, and it's good in that regard. This isn't a great situation for us, but like I say, so long as so long as we can thin our deck fairly well here, it doesn't matter too much. Um, about where we stand in comparison to our opponent. Like, we're, we're keeping tempo, which is good. And if we play him in now, we can always renew him. So, let's look to do that. Come on. Come on. I guess he's got shots to take. I feel like he hasn't realized he's got shots to take. There we go, he realized. He figured it out. So we play Ermion. And uh, hopefully we draw something useful. That's good, because now we can discard Siri. And that's okay. So what do we discard here? We maybe discard Udoric. Udoric's not that great in this matchup. Um, I definitely think we discard the Skirmisher. And possibly Udoric. We can always res him with Sig, so let's just throw him away for now. If not by strength, then by stealth. And basically, if we if we play Johnny and discard Siri, we can then also discard Siri with our leader. Peter Piper, Pit, Prince Proximo, a pack of pickle peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> oh, nice! We got a muzzle. He should really pass here. Although we just so go two guards down. I think here is where we pass. To be honest, uh, we want to thin our deck a little bit more, but we can do that on the next round. And this way, we're a card up. So let's just get out. Get the hell out of dodge. The other thing we can do, actually, if we find Sig, is we can res Johnny. And if we res Johnny, we can then discard Siri again if we draw her. We have fairly successfully thinned our deck. I need to get the Dimmon Pirates out. Um, I've also got King Bran, which I can use to discard skirmishes. Well, I would if I didn't draw them all. We have Span Rigger as well, which we can maybe use to cycle Siri. Okay, so there's a Dimmon, so we're going to play that and thin, for sure. All in all, this is actually not looking no too bad. No one can hide from me. Because, like I said, we can always, uh, we can always, pass, if we can find say Grez, Uderic, should we need him? If we can damage this somehow, I don't think we have a way of damaging it. But if we could damage it somehow, then we could always muzzle it. The other thing we can do is discard those from our deck with Bran, or with actually with Svanrigger. So this isn't too bad. Um, we also have Ermion. I think we have to we have to wait till the next round because he's played like I said he's played this guy, so we're not gonna wanna we're not gonna wanna do this just yet. Basically, like I'm gonna wanna discard those, so I may as well wait. So we're gonna discard Siri and both of our skirmishers. Do not 
assume you can order me around. A shame I have no time. The issue at the moment is we don't have a good muzzle a target. Dum anime est. Uh, and we don't have good discards. Like, we don't really want to discard anything else. If we play Von Riga, you know, we'll, ha we'll have to discard Please something. We could decoy Counter Ella, actually, and that would draw us a card uh, without discarding, which isn't too bad. No! I think we muzzle this. He has to shoot something. There we go. And if we decoy this, he doesn't have a good target for Rain Farn, which is also not too bad. Uh, not for Rain Farn, for Menno. I wonder if he's got his muzzle. He'll just take it back. Would be interesting to see. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So we decoy Cantarella, we're giving him points. But at the moment, we're behind, so we don't really want to do that. Uh, we play this priestess Modern right now. Freyr is patient, but she and brooks pull no insult. a skirmisher out the graveyard. Not get I mean, it's a decent axe. number of points. The problem that I have, honestly, is what do I discard? Like, I could play Renew and pull Ermion, but if we pull Ermion, what do we discard? Like, we would discard, I guess we discard Siri. And then whatever else we draw. Oh, and then we can fun Rigo Siri. Now. So this is actually okay. I think this is okay. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not, but I think it's maybe okay. So we play Renew. Not gonna catch us up, but it's fine. We play Ermion. Gods protect us. And we get Siri, which we can discard. We get Sig. So then we discard Siri and the Priestess. What's left than a priestess of Freya. But that what if we spawn again and we don't get Siri? I think we have to play Siri. Which is maybe we discard Swan Rigger. Because we can always res him. Let's do that. Let's do that. He's going for it, you guys. I don't think I can cycle her again, unfortunately. But we can still play her. You've talked enough. I think he's maybe finally twigged into what's going on here. Maybe. We could have also rezzed Johnny and discarded her, but that's not really going to help us. Okay, so we have to play one more card. If we play Sig, we don't get a res on the next turn. If we decoy something, it gets healed so we would win. We'd be ahead. And then we can get a big Sig on the next turn. This is all really dependent on us. Yeah, I think we have to keep Sig, because if we get Sig, we can always find Svenriga, and maybe we can use that to find uh, our Siri. So... Let's just decoy this. It's such a waste of a decoy. But I think it's fine. Ogre Blackhand's taking on new swabbies. And hopefully you his, you know, his rain farm play. Uh, not his rain farm, his Joaquin play isn't going to be enough. With our gigantic Siri dash. Fish. Basically, we need to draw Siri here. So we're going to draw an elemental, and then we mulligan it, and we have a 50-50 of whether we get a priestess or a Siri. Oh, the gods are smiling upon us today. The gods are smiling upon us today. So what do we want to res? I'm guessing we res the big skirmisher, right? Res Johnny and discard her again. Nah, nah, I don't think we do that. What do you I think we need? have to res a big skirmisher and then just hope for the best. Or we chain it into a priestess because I did discard her, so that's going to give us an extra point. We serve her who is burning and like, mother points and mean crumb. prizes, you guys. Points mean prizes. Not but he's gonna menno me. Unless he's not playing menno. But it's gonna be infiltrator menno, right? Realistically. Oh no. I'm getting mennoed. He's only got two cards left in his deck. I'm totally getting mennoed. Oh, it's not enough, you guys. So close. And yet, so far. Your humble servant. Unless he doesn't have it. But he, no, he has two bronze cards left in his deck. So here comes the menno. The big boy Menno. I think we, I think we that gave it actually a decent attempt. Impressive. Congratulations. Like, I knew what was coming, but I think, oh, if he'd gone first, it would have been all right because we would have been able to play that later. I mean, considering he's literally playing Meta Spies and I'm playing Nonsense Mulligan, you know, I feel like, I feel like it went all right. It went all right, and uh, it's a really fun deck to play. The problem is, you know, for me, even at casuals, people are playing Meta decks, so it's a little bit tricky. Um, but yeah, that's the deck, and you know, it's, it's kind of fun for a bit of a change of play pace. It doesn't really work amazingly, but it, I think it's alright, you know. I definitely think you could win with the deck. Um, so if you like this deck, hit that thumbs up button. 
Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if there's any content you'd like to see from me, let me know about that as well. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, you can always subscribe to the channel and you can find me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Jagoras and on Twitter at Jagoras. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.